Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over a quick update where I'm connecting my MySQL database with Flask. So as you can see here, I've got my database uh, pulled up and it's connected. So you can see I've got uh, tables for books, the authors, the book reviews, and the users that are creating book reviews. And some of this I might have uh, covered in a previous video. Just wanted to do a quick review before uh, going on to the next section. So in a previous video, I went over the update uh, to the layout of the uh, website that I was working on. And in that, there was a, an ebook manager. It looked a little bit different uh, than before because that was all done in HTML, uh, straight HTML. And this time it's going to be uh, connected using Flask. Now this is just a preview uh, using the Nice Page uh, desktop app. And what I've done is I've taken out, I've stripped out some of the other stuff that was in there and put in three links that go to the routes uh, that are controlled by the Flask Python code. And for the functionality, uh, for this update, we're going to be going over the uh, getting all of the books by ID, and we'll be getting all of the users in the database and all of their information. And then we're going to be getting all of the authors and their information. So first, we'll start out with the full user list. Um, at the top, we've got three links, the same links that were on the nice page uh, layout. And then we've got the user information pulled up from the database. And that that's uh, from the default URL and then the app root get all users. And then if I get the get book by ID and put in the uh, book ID number, and once you click the uh, get book button, then the book uh, pops up. So that's ID one. Uh, then I do it again for book ID 3, and then I put in book ID 10, which uh, I don't have 10 at the moment, and it returns a message, book not found. So that, that shows that the code is working. And then if you click the link for uh, get all of the authors, it shows all the author information. So you got you know the author ID, the first name, last name, birth date, nationality, and then a biography, a fictional biography uh, of each of these uh, these fictional authors. Now, what I'd like to do in uh, the next revision of this, I'm not sure what the requirements are for the next module yet. That'll be dropped, I believe, tonight. Um, but what I'd like to do is be able to do all of the like inserting uh, information or deleting information uh, from the database right through this back office man ebook manager uh, site site page or web page and then uh, I do have um, I've been tinkering around with some AI generated music and I was thinking about adding that uh, to this this page so there'll be ebooks the audio book and then some AI generated music which uh, uh, one of them's from a site called udio.com and then the other one is uh, I believe uh, suno.com uh, so I've I've got uh, it each site has uh, their own nuance in how they generate music yeah I think for my final project that uh, that that's kind of what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, putting that kind of um, content on on this web page anyway if you like the video hit the thumbs up and i will see you all next time